Shelly Gode, does we Boma, Boma try run her down and get those two. Welcome back to TXC Chat Time, guys. It's a special day. It's a day for the mothers across the world. Shout out to all the mothers. Thank you. You're welcome. Especially to the athlete mothers out there that are killing it while still being full-time moms. Shout out to you. It's an awesome day. I wish you nothing but pleasure. Just kick back and relax. No, we have another big announcement today. Tom, do you want to tell our subscribers? Thank you guys so much. We finally hit 10K subscribers. Yes, we did. We're so excited. We're growing. We can't do this without you. Thank you for engaging in the comment section below. Thank you for listening to our commentary. And thank you for supporting our channel as we continue to grow. Yes, without you guys, this channel would not be TXC Track Time. There would be no TXC Track Time. So we're so grateful. We're so happy. Please continue to support us. Please continue to get our content out there. We really appreciate it. No, I think this is a perfect day to actually talk about this special woman because it's Mother's Day. And this athlete that's currently killing the game is also a mother. Tom, Shelly Ann Fraser Price had her opening season 100 meter run yesterday. What are your thoughts? So something that my husband would always say, Shelly Ann boss were like a beige kite. Now that's all I'm saying for now. So T, you're going to have to take us through this race and what went down in Nairobi, Kenya. I mean, Tom, you know, you said it on your uh, preview video and, you know, you're a, bit, you're a little upset with me because I cut a segment out of it that you actually wanted in. So I'm going to do you a favor and I'm going to add that back for everybody to see. Should she focus more on the 100 meters? and defending her world title and just not put too much emphasis on this first race of the season? Or should she lay down the gauntlet, remind us all who she is and send shivers across the world into all the other athletes? But guys, Shelly Ann Fraser Price said in her preview video uh, during the interview, I'm coming to run fast. I want to take advantage of the fact that I'm at high altitude. I'm going to be getting good conditions. What everybody down here gets in Africa. I want some of that Kenya ru good running. And she she got that plus more. I'm like, she looked so easy. She got out like her rocket like she usually does. But what was even more impressive? And I'm just going to have to go back because I haven't had time to look at her 10-6 races last season, but she looks so much stronger over the last part of the race whilst easing down. So remember, no, she was actually easing down. So her 10-6s last year, which was two, if I'm not mistaken, two, right? Yeah. The first one was at, in Jamaica, and it looked it will look relatively easy as well. And I don't want to say too easy because, you know, it's 10 six. So she, she was still giving her a full hundred, but this one yesterday, she just looked so much stronger and she was actually slowing down. So I'm like, okay, girl, I see you. I see that the better, the last part of your race is even better than last year. So I can, oh, I'm only, I can only see good things. Right. Can, and when you touched, when you mentioned the end of her race, something that I also noticed, her cheeks were nice and loose as she was crossing the finish line, relaxed. She was relaxed. in charge of the race. Uh, she was not, she was not at her best. I, I mean, she was at her best, but what I'm saying there is more where that came from. 
the mm -hmm. 5 and the 10 4 that she spoke about is looking more and more likely it's yeah. very probable very very much probable and i mean yes athletes want to take advantage of the, of the conditions to run faster times but for me i i just i'm like whoa we know what's coming in eugene eugene is the fastest track out there so i definitely see her getting to that into that realm that she wants to be in my only concern seeing the race was um i'm praying that they get it they get the peak right this time because last year uh, quite a few sports pundits were saying you know they didn't get the peak right for the olympics so my thing is i see you starting with that 10 10 6 and that's awesome but please i'm just hoping that you get the peak right this time because you know again we don't know how long how much longer shelly will be here in the sport that is so we want her to maximize her potential while she's here so if once she goes to eugene fastest track she's gonna be focused pinpoint on running her best race ever that's where i want to see her getting her fastest time ever as well right so i think um as far as the peak goes everything is relative so putting the 10 6 7 into context for me at least uh if shelly and ran 10 6 7 in years gone by as her first race i may have been a little bit concerned as well as far as racing so hard at the beginning of your season and peaking mm -hmm. too early but this again in my preview video i said this is a new shelly and this is a different shelly and this is a 10 6 shelly and preparing to run 10 fours and 10 fives so i would say the 10 6 that she produced uh i i mean i'm i'm just assuming that that would go in line with what she was doing in prior seasons when she was running 10 nines or 11s right. That's no, just no. where she is. I'm not, that's just, I'm not surprised. Right? I'm that's not just surprised where her body her is right now. Six. So I'm expecting her to get faster and faster. So this this is just like the beginning of what will be probably a very remarkable season from Shelly and Fraser Price. Yeah, I'm definitely not surprised with her running 10-6 at all. Because I, in the video we did about Elaine, where I talked about once these athletes get into this 10 6 10 5 realm they're on a different level so don't be surprised when you see them opening their season with some crazy time and the, and the same holds true for shelly and fraser price right so i'm not surprised by the time at all i'm just saying i want them to get the peak right i want shelly to turn up on her a game i don't want no questions to be asked when that race is run that 100 meter finals i don't want anybody to be saying oh this happened i want everybody to be on point and i mean everybody even our uh, you know competitors i want those people or competition to also be on point because i mean why you're shocked you're talking about no foolishness when when Rias come because and i want to touch on shakira a little bit because we saw what happened to boma in the race and that's what speed does i was saying to you before you did your video that boma is going to have her tr real true true first test going against a legitimate 100 meter sprinter it's another no games and we saw what happened speed for lack of a better term kills speed kills i i wish that boma um you know she's young she's 18 and she has a lot of learning to do because you don't track uh, you don't track Shelly and Fraser don't Price. Try you, don't, Shelly. you don't try to keep pace with Shelly and Fraser Price at all. We're talking that about was. Shelly and Fraser Price. You stay in your lane and you run your own race. So I'm hoping that she's not injured. Uh, well, I'm hoping that the injury is not something that will take her out of the sport for the rest of the season. I'm looking to see her get back into racing again. However, don't track somebody like Shelly and Fraser don't Price. Track and, Price. And, and run your own race. With what happened with Boma, and I'm just flashing back over to Shakira now, and I'm like, she even lost before the race and we start because she pull out, she not even enter. And I'm like, what's going on with you, girl? Like, are you a influencer, social media influencer, or are you an athlete? I'm trying to figure this out, right? But again, she was defeated before she even start. Shelly Gode, dust with Boma, Boma try run her done, and get dust too. Unfortunately, eating the concrete. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't want to make it sound like I'm making a joke out of the situation, but you have to take a bad thing sometimes and make light of it, right? So, I mean, Shelly just looks fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, she does. Uh, looking more and more likely that her world championship uh, 
title can be defended. And we're talking, we're speaking in a world where we have Elaine Thompson here running 10 5 4. But the Shelley and Fraser Price that we saw yesterday at the Kipina Classic, that Shelley and Fraser Price can defend her world title. Yep, she can. So, track is let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Is Shelly unstoppable based on this 10 6 7 run that she did yesterday? Opening her season with 10 6 7. Yeah, is she, is she unstoppable? Let us know. Don't forget, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and engage us in the comment section below. I'm Tam, and I'm T. We'll, we'll catch, catch you in another one.